Hello, and welcome to another Learning by Doing, uh, where you get to watch a real data scientist do some real exercises. Um, and so these are pandas exercises. I'm sort of going through them. This has definitely helped my former students in the past. I hope it helps you. So without further ado, let's jump into it. The exercises are in the description below. OK, so this exercise has to do with deleting, um, which I'm assuming means uh, NANs, uh, just basically dealing with NANs. Uh, it's using the iris data set, which I do find strange, because I know the iris data set doesn't necessarily have uh, any uh, NANs. <laughs> So, uh, hmm. uh, so pd.read csv uh, URL. Let's just make sure that this URL. Oh, ooh, OK. Well, uh, let's hope this works. Nice. Um, ooh. Oh, I see. I see. Um, OK. So there's no header. Uh, so we're just going to need to make the header equal to uh, none. Great. Okay, sweet. Okay, so iris equals uh, this. Uh, create columns for the data set. Okay, so iris.columns. You know, and you can you can use the rename function. I would suggest using the rename function, but you know, hey, we're lazy. Um, so let's do sepal length. Uh, let's do, and we are super lazy, sepal width. Uh, let's do uh, pedal width, and then let's do pedal uh, length, and then let's do class. Okay, great. Uh, that's right. So iris dot head. Sweet. Um, great. And so this is basically some stuff about flowers, some lengths and measurements of flowers. Um, is there any missing data in the data frame? Great. So the best way to find this out just initially is just doing dot info. Um, this will tell us 150 entries. There's no missing data. I kind of already knew this, but you know. Uh, let's set the values of rows uh, 10 to 29 of the column petal length to name. So iris dot uh, lock. Um, Let's go from 10 to 29. Um, and then let's go uh, petal length. And let's set this to uh, pd.nan. Dot nan. Not dot. Mm. Huh. What is this? pd.np? Wow. Oh, man. You can access. NumPy inside of pandas. <laughs> I'm sure that that is not a good idea, but there you go. Iris.info, <laughs> just import NumPy. Um, okay, you'll notice that we have some NANs now. I'd substitute the NANs to ones. So iris. Fill in a is the function they are looking for, and you just want to, you can read this entire thing. There's a method, there's a value, there's an axis, and all this stuff. The first sort of version of this is just you know, hey, let's fill it with whatever. Let's fill the entire data frame. Um, so you can fill the entire thing, um, and you can do dot info on this, and you will notice it's completely filled. So let's do this in place. Equals true. Great. Uh, I I do this all the time. Now let's delete the column class. What? Let's delete the column class. You monsters. Um, Iris uh, class. This is the way you delete a column. In pandas, this does it permanently, so just be careful with it. Set the first three rows as nan. Okay, so iris dot uh, lock. Uh, let's go with the first th oh, first three rows, not all of it, equals pd dot np dot nan. <laughs> oh, dirty. Um, I, I want to see actually how they do this. I think they'll probably use just np dot nan. Delete the rows that have nan. Iris dot head. Oh, we got some nans now. Oh, so I'd set the first four rows. Not a problem. Um, so let's delete this so it has nans. So iris dot um, uh, drop in a. Um, and we will drop along the uh, index. So always make sure, because if you dropped along the column, it would just drop all the data. 
Uh, so is the index, which is their term for the rows. Um, and then the how is any, so we can just do how equals any. And we can check this out. So it did drop it. So let's go ahead and make this in place true. Perfect. Uh, reset it so the index begins with zero. So you'll notice our index begins with uh, this. So we can do um, uh, reset index. I believe this is just, you just drop, yep. So there's a little command here that says drop uh, true. Um, and this will go ahead, sets it there. Um, and you can always do this in place equals true. Great. Okay. Well, that was really easy. I, I've just done this a lot before. So, <laughs> you know, again, you can watch the rest of this series. I promise I've never looked at these exercises before. I struggle a lot on some of these. <laughs> this just happens to be pretty easy. So let's check the solutions. Make sure that I didn't just, you know, st struggle and or didn't just sort of get it uh, wrong, like completely. So they did import numpy, unsurprised. Uh, they did this. They actually set the columns like this. Great. Um, they did PD dot is null. Fine. I like info. They did I lock. I actually personally much prefer lock to this. Um, so and you can see, yeah, I really much prefer lock. It's much clearer. Um, we'd substitute fill in a. Perfect. They print out the entire thing. Uh, delete the head or delete uh, class. Perfect. Uh, np.nan, yeah, yeah, no kidding, that's a much better way to do it. Uh, drop in A, perfect. Reset the index drop, great. Okay, looks like we got a 100%, and because we got a 100%, that means you have to like and subscribe this video. That's right, you have to subscribe this video, not the channel, you have to subscribe the video. Um, if you guys like this, if you guys enjoyed sort of seeing my thought process a little bit here, this probably wasn't as helpful as some of the other ones where I sort of struggle a little bit more. But regardless, do these exercises, you'll get better at pandas, I promise. And pandas is sort of the first step in learning data science. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.